let's build a Colorado 4x4 van. I'm here at my home shop today and the first batch of little pieces for the new build came in today. Um, I'm a guy that whenever I have for birthdays or Christmas or whatever, Father's Day, I ask for gift cards so that I can get things either on Amazon or different places for whatever I'm working on at the time. The van for the last many years and and uh, the truck is starting to come into focus now. So I'm going to show you the first batch that I got this year thanks to my parents, both my in-laws and my parents, um, and my wife, of course. Although the shelter is a big part of her. she that's her big contribution, so, <laughs> and allowing me to do this. That's the biggest contribution. So thanks to everyone who gave me things, and there are some things that I haven't gotten yet, and I'll uh, have those in future videos, but the first ones came in and they're pretty cool, so I'm going to show you what they are right now. focused heavily on electrical this time because that's what I think about. Being an electrician, I think about that all the time. So here, the first thing I got is it's the Blue C uh, Systems uh, ST Blade Fuse Block. And I'm focusing with a lot of marine stuff on the truck this time because they're just built more stronger. I mean, this is just really solid. But this will be the, the fuse panel for the truck. 12 circuits. All the negatives go up here your individual circuits, your positive stud, your negative stud from coming from the from the battery. So that'll be my fuse block. The one I used for the van was uh, a cheaper version and some recycled stuff there. So this is actually going to be professionally done. With that I got a uh, assorted car fuse set so I have plenty of spares even when I'm done light wiring up everything some of the stuff is just really cheap stuff that I think will be fun here's a T level that I can mount in the cab of the truck so I'll know when I'm level relatively I almost never pay attention to exact level because with my fridge and everything it's not really necessary and my bed is reversible so if I can't get perfectly level on a street or something I can always change the bed and sleep the other way, but this will give me at least an idea and I'll take uh, Explorer Steve's advice and go to a gas station to get that set up. Here's something that's actually for the van. I really like these lights. There's already one in the van and I have two other reading lights that I'm going to switch out to these eventually. I, don't, I got one, but this is one like I have right beside the bed where the fireplace is. You turn it on and off by pushing the lens. It's a warmer light LED, uh, more more reddish light than blue, like the, a lot of the lights that I started out with in the van because I didn't know a whole lot about LEDs at the beginning and there weren't a lot of choices either, um, are more the whitish and I don't like that light, I like the, ye the yellower reddish light. So that's actually for the van, I'll be changing that out soon. That'll be one of the ones by the bed, the other one by the bed I'm going to change out first. I also have the one to change out above the... Uh, uh, above the kitchen countertop and that'll probably be the last one because it gets used the least amount. So I got that coming. This is for the cab of the truck and it's kind of funny but it'll be fun too. And there's actually a useful nature to this. So it's a, a light switch panel that has different switches for your like LED light bar, spotlights, side lights, roof lights, Zombie lights, I have no idea what that is, but I'll figure out something there. And then driving lights, these are all pre-labeled. They have blue uh, LEDs in here that will turn on when it's turned on. Also comes with the cigarette lighter adapter here, two USB plug-ins here, and then a, a voltage DC voltage readout. Now for the truck, um, Teratrot to mentioned they had a trouble at one point with their truck that the uh, the alternator went out and it started pumping out like 50 plus volts. Fried their starter batteries and iPod and iPhone and the way they figured out they initially thought something was going on because the windshield wipers turned on and some different electrical things were happening. Um, this way this will be hooked up all the time kind of like a a voltage gauge in the dash and if something spikes like that I'll know about it right away and I can shut the truck down and we can hopefully avoid disaster. These all come individually fused. 
at least these three are individually fused and then you've got everything pre-wired you just have to hook up your switches so a neat little gadget I'll put that in the truck and that'll give me some additional control of the lights while I'm driving now for the big stuff got my Victron Energy BMV 700 battery monitor and these are really interesting. You've probably seen them before, but I'll do a quick, I'll show you real quick what it is. What is, here's the monitor itself. And this tells you how much uh, power you're using, how much battery life you have left. Very, very um, precise monitoring of power usage. And it goes through a shunt, which is right here. And you hook your battery ground to this side, all other grounds on this side. You plug in with the phone cord, you plug the monitor in here, and then there's a power wire here that hooks to the positive of the battery, and you plug that in right there to power the unit. And then it measures all power that goes in and out of your batteries, so you can see exactly where your battery's at, what's coming in, what's going out, how much time you have left on your batteries before it gets to a, you can change the set points on it and all that. So, really precise. I. And this plus what's coming up next are kind of replacing my uh, the solar charger that I have now, charge controller I have now. Um, this is just a much uh, higher level, much more precise system, I think, than what I've got now. What I love the blue sky that I have now. It works great. I highly recommend it. Good up to 400 watts of solar. I'm going to go to five, 510 watts. I have 300, 230 watts on the van now. And I'm going to go to 510 watts on the truck to start out. And so more than double. And I don't think my usage is going to go up that much, so I think I'll be fine. Here's the MPPT charge controller from Blue, from Blue Solar, Victron Energy. And this is really heavy. We got a book. Here's the actual controller, and it's really simple, really heavy. Nice cooling things there. You have your battery in plus and minus, your solar in plus and minus. They just go in here and screw in. This is where you plug in what I'll show you next. And that's all there is to it. It has a ground screw over here to ground this whole thing. Um, but it's good for 100 volts, 50 amps. So this will take me up to about... I think it was good enough to go if I wanted to go even higher, but this will cover my 510 watts easily. I think it goes over 600. But uh, this will easily control all that. Super fast MPPT tracking. Really an excellent reputation for these uh, things. It's not just because t I noticed uh, today when I was looking, Terra Trotter is using similar Victron Energy stuff too, but uh, a lot of people are. There are other systems out there. Mastervolt is out. Is, that's the new high end, I guess. Um, but I really like the reputation of these is really good and the whole system is really nice in addition to these pieces um, you get an inverter charger also of different sizes and I'll be getting that next but that's the most expensive piece so I don't have that yet but uh, anyway that'll be going in the truck there this thing probably weighs I'm guessing six seven pounds it's pretty heavy pretty heavy duty it's pretty neat and then to plug into that I got this. And this is what they call the VE Direct Bluetooth Smart Dongle. This plugs into the charge controller right here. You can mount this and then you can get on your smartphone, hook up to this, and you can get readouts of your whole system. You can get readouts of everything that's going on with your solar and your power system. And uh, right on your smartphone, you can change settings. You can get logs, history logs of what's been used and whatnot. So I figured that'd be good to have. I don't have a smartphone, but the wife does. So that would give her something to play with. She likes that kind of thing. I'll like it too, but she's, she's more into it than I am. So that'll, that'll give her something to study on her smartphone. So... That's it. A pretty good haul for a birthday. I'm um, really excited. Like I said, there are a couple other things coming. 
Um, my mom got me a really awesome uh, griddle for my cooktop. Uh, cast iron griddle that you lay on. It's reversible, has uh, lifted portions. I'll try to put a picture here on one side and totally flat on the other. So cooking breakfast on a cooktop um, won't need a fry pan anymore. It takes up the whole surface. So that's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to getting that. That hasn't gotten here yet, but that's coming. Anyway, that's the start of uh, what I hope will be an excellent build with a lot of new technology. I really can't wait to uh, get this stuff installed and try it out. But uh, yeah, we'll have to wait. It's going to be a while. But at least I'm stacking up the parts to uh, so when I do get it done, I'll be able to uh, jump right in and have some good quality stuff. What do you think, Maxwell? What do you think? You think we're going to have a good build? I think so too, huh? I think so too, huh? Yeah. That's my boy. That's my boy right there. Until next time.